may look a little ridiculous. However, <laughs> it's only to my viewing audience. Locally, I look ridiculous. Um, to maybe people from somewhere else in the world, I may not look ridiculous. I may look very normal, or they don't expect me. Uh, they, don't, they don't know what to expect. <laughs> okay. However, what I want to talk about is chaos theory. Chaos theory. That is the view that everything we see in our world is chaotic. And what we want to make, what we want to, the statement we want to make here, is that although it appears to be chaotic, the events we see, clouds moving through the sky, the weather, lightning, the planets, um, we, we see so many events taking place, and we can't explain them, nor can we predict many of them. Very difficult to explain. A raindrop running down a car windshield goes right, goes left. The second drop, you know, this is the chaotic theory. Well, the events appear chaotic, but the rules that govern that chaotic motion are linear. And this is what chaos theory is trying to get to, is it's trying to bridge chaotic motion with the laws of the universe that would explain this chaotic motion. But the laws of the universe are linear. Math is linear. Algorithms are linear. It is very easy uh, mathematically to predict the numbers that are coming up in either uh, addition or very fast addition, which we call multiplication, or going back <laughs> from your multiples, what we call divisional, where you go back in line, or subtraction, where you go back in from adding. We're, we're adding all numbers. All you can do with numbers is add them. You know, as a kid, although I, when I was a kid, we just learned to add and subtract. We didn't learn the number line. But in modern math, or however person people want to look at it, all you can do is add, period. You either add going up or add going down. Going down, we call it subtraction. Going up, we call it uh, everything from add, multiply, divide, all of that. But anyway, it all turns out to be a logarithmic table. And that is linear. So what we're trying to do with chaos, chaos theory and other events in the universe is we're trying to explain why math should be able to explain chaos, <laughs> but it doesn't. Uh, math is linear, the universe is not. However, the laws that govern the universe are also linear. We have three laws right now we've been talking about. Uh, Newton kindly gave us two of those observations, very good. We've added a third, which is precession. With these three laws, we're going to now unite not only gravity and magnetism, we're also going to unite the linear math we use with the chaotic world we see. And we're also going to explain why everything goes into a big ball, basically. Uh, and with this, we're going to get a very big grasp on why we start with a binary system of understanding of mass and energy and why everything has to, that is in spin, and spin will be the very definition of mass and motion, and it will be binary. Okay. Well, mostly we're doing the chaos thing right now. <laughs> Thank you.